my name's Sophie D'Souza, welcome to my channel Sophie Stained Glass. Today I'm going to do a little tutorial on how to make these, which are uh, snowflake Christmas tree ornaments that are made with broken safety glass. Um, I've seen these made by other people and I thought I'd just have a go myself, so I did a few experiments with different um, kiln recipes and um, I'll show you how I do it. So this is the safety glass I've collected. Somebody broke into a car on my street when they scooped it up. Um, this is very thin. Actually, I think it would work better with thicker safety glass. So what you want to do is crumble up the big pieces. So I've crumbled up most of the big pieces. Um, you get pieces a lot bigger than that actually um, and what you want is little granular pieces so I just use my fingers to sort of break them up um, it's like you know you get big pieces um, it is safety glass but you can still cut yourself um, right so let me show you what I do put them in my kiln oh look there's a really big piece so you want them little bitty and what you do is you heat them together Let's take the big pieces away, in a sort of circular mound, something like that. If you do, if it gets too thin at the edge they'll just sort of snap off, so, um, but that's okay. So what you do when you take them out is you just give them a little bit of a um, well you sort of pull, pull at them just to check there are no sort of loose pieces that are wanting to fall off. Just do two today. Okay. Now I have put this on a normal um, uh, full fuse firing according to the um, schedule that you get for bullseye glass. And what I changed was I made the top temperature slightly lower. I made the top temperature 785 degrees as opposed to 804 degrees, which is what it is for a full fuse with bullseye. But that melted everything too much, I'll show you. Um, that came out like that, which is too flat. Everything just melted. And I tried a tack fuse and it it all broke away, it didn't really hold together. So you want to go up to, what did I say? 785 and um, I will put the full firing schedule in the details at the bottom. I found some glass that was a bit thicker and it doesn't have that green sort of tinge to it, uh, which might be something to do with the fact that it were, the other glass was um, from a car. Um, so I fired this, it's very pretty, and um, I had to take it up to 805 actually because the glass pieces were thicker. So I'll put the details down below, but uh, there we go. And just so that you know, to hang them up I get um, nylon fishing wire and I just sort of pass it through one of the little natural holes to hang it up, that's how I do it. <laughs> 